Is it possible to use supplements and pills to improve your mental performance so you have increased focus and concentration? And if it is possible, what can you achieve with that? In this video, I'm gonna break down what smart drugs are and natural nootropics. So keep watching. Hey everyone, my name is Geshev. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you master your mindset. If this is the first video you've seen, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell icon. So let's get into the video. I first came across this idea of taking a pill when I was at university. I've heard so many stories of people taking things like modafinil. Uh, I remember people taking uh, Proplus during exam time to really focus and cram during that heavy mental uh, performing period. But do they actually work and, and what should you take and what shouldn't you take and how, what are nootropics in the first place? So first things first, I've got to give you a disclaimer, obviously, I am not a doctor. So before you take anything, I'm just presenting my experience and my understanding. Make sure you do your own research, make sure you speak to your own medical health professional and decide what's best for you. Like I said, this is something I've heard of before. But it really caught my attention recently because I had a company contact me and say, hey, can you review our product? Because your channel is all about mastering mindset and productivity. Um, we'd love to hear what you think of our product and possibly share it with your subscribers. So I started doing my research. I started looking at you know, what is out there? What are all these ingredients? And before I go any further, let's actually define this word nootropic because it sounds very cool, very fascinating. Basically, it's any kind of supplement that is meant to boost your cognitive function without any side effects. And there's two types. There's the kind that has been man-made, a synthetic nootropic, things like modafinil. And then there are the things that are natural supplements, the micronutrients that your brain needs to work at optimal performance. In order for something to be qualified as a nootropic, technically speaking, it needs to reach three minimum criteria, and they are enhancing your memory function, helping your brain deal with stress, and the third one is it should have no side effects. So the first thing and the, the most important thing I would say is that, yes, they can work, because often we get afraid to put things into our bodies. We have this, you know, culture of, all these chemicals that we're trying to avoid. But I think one of the things that a friend of mine told me that I find really useful to remember is, what is your body made up of? Chemicals. There are chemical equations and different things going on in our bodies all of the time. We use things like zinc, iron, copper, magnesium. And so it makes sense that we should focus on getting the right micronutrients, the right amount of water, the right amount of sleep in order to function at our highest possible level. So yes, a nootropic can benefit you. But here's the catch. There are so many companies out there who want to take your money and put it into their pocket. And so I think it's important to remember, and as I did my research, I'm gonna create a top five nootropics video. Uh, so I'll link that in the description for you guys to check out. But it's important to remember that there's so many companies out there who are not run by qualified pharmacists or qualified medical health professionals who are jumping on the bandwagon here and looking to make a quick buck. As I was doing my research, as you'll see in my top five video, I came across um, so many companies that were creating fake profiles, that were creating fake reviews, uh, damaging either their competitors' sites and reviews or enhancing their own. And so I think what we need to remember is if you are thinking about taking it, do your research. For me personally, I would only ever stick to the natural nootropics. And the reason for this is because I don't want the side effects. Yes, there are things out there like modafinil that can help you, but there are also stories of negative side effects, which you know guys like Improvement Pill and others on YouTube have already covered. So I think it's best to, especially with something like your mind, to err on the side of caution. At the same time, like I said, don't be afraid. Do your research, do your homework. Things like ashwagandha, things like caffeine, for example, are natural nootropics that you can buy 
at any store for you know a cheaper price than you may see online and they do really really help ashwagandha for example is known to help you with your mood and your concentration caffeine we all know a good cup of coffee at the beginning of the day can really help your concentration your energy output if you're going to the gym so again these things can really really help when used appropriately. And the final point that I would make is that it's important to remember that there is no one size fits all approach. Everyone's re results are going to vary. And the reason for that is because one, it's not like these supplements have all been peer reviewed over and over and over again so that the results are conclusive and consistent. The second thing is that your results are gonna vary because your personality type, your brain type, your habits, your environment, there are so many factors that create a person's psychology and their results. And yes, this can give you that little 5% boost, but I want you to think of it like going to the gym. You can take the world's best protein supplements. And there are so many companies out there that claim to have the best protein, but at the end of the day, it's the same core ingredient, whether it's pea protein or whey protein that you're taking. And you can drink as many shakes as you want, but at the end of the day, you still need to get good seven, eight hours of sleep. You still have to go to the gym and make sure that you lift. Because if you don't put that work in, that 5% that you're trying to get, that little edge may not really work for you. So one of the most important things to remember is that average people major in minor things. So when you're looking at, can a smart drug help me to focus a bit better? Yes, it can nudge you. It can, even if it's a placebo effect, it may benefit you slightly. But at the same time, the most important thing is what you cannot escape and what you know already. Do the work. And the final thing that I want to leave you with is a picture of a brain scan of somebody who's been walking for 20 minutes and someone who's been sitting around watching TV for 20 minutes. You decide looking at these pieces of evidence that I'm presenting to you. Which one do you think is going to activate your brain the most? One of my most powerful habits is going for a 20 minute walk whenever I feel tired because I know that's engaging my brain. It's getting blood flowing around. It's boosting my cognitive performance. So focus on those things as well as taking a little pill because we all know we'd love to have a pill that you can take and you're like Bradley Cooper in that film or that TV show and you become immediately smart. You bang out a bunch of books, you get all your work done and you have time to spare. But there are no shortcuts here. So yes, they can help, but do your research and my recommendation, stick to the natural stuff. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this really brief introduction to Smart Nootropics. There's obviously more that I could have shared, but check out my other video on the top five supplements that I reviewed and make sure you subscribe and comment down below. Peace.